Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we've got a new product from Speedy Bee. It's their F405 Wing Flight Controller. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. Let's dive in. First order of business, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I upload all new content to the channel. All right, guys, I got an exciting new product from Speedy Bee, something a little bit different from what we've reviewed on the channel previously. This is the F405 Wing Flight Controller. If you may be familiar, I previously reviewed the uh, Quad Flight Controller stack, uh, but this is for the Wing, uh, and it's coming in at $39.99 US dollars. So under 40 US dollars for a flight controller, I think that's a pretty good deal, so I had to see what it's about for myself. I had previously mentioned that I was going to get into some more aspects of RC. Uh, wings is something that I've been looking at for quite some time, but I have, have yet to dive into. So we're going to be bringing a couple wings to the channel. In particular, I've got the He-Wing Ranger, the T1 Ranger, as well as the Zod Dart 250. So those two products are coming to the channel. And neither one of those uh, came with a flight controller setup. So they're both plug and play. Pretty much you had your receiver and you can fly it out of the box, but without uh, any assist there, so any flight controller. I picked this Speedy B up as well as a Diatone Mamba F722. That review will be coming to the channel shortly as well. But today we're going to be looking into the Speedy B. Without further ado, let's open it up, see what's in the box. As always, the Speedy B packaging looks pretty similar for what we've seen in the past here. All right, looks like we've got a quick start guide. Now this flight controller uh, will run iNav as well as RD Pilot. I'll probably be running uh, iNav on this specific flight controller, but uh, it will support both uh, operating systems. All right, it's nicely packaged as most Speedy B products are. So let's get this assembled and see what she's about. But first, let's see what else you get in the box. So you have the three components to the flight controller. And your accessories goodie bag. or box, should I say. All right, so you've got various cables. Now this one does have a USB extension cable. This is the uh, breakout board for the USB there, so you can easily reach that if it's buried uh, within your wing for easy access. If you don't want to connect it to the Speedy B app, now this flight controller does support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the iOS and Android Speedy B app. So you can configure it that way uh, if you don't want to connect it up to your Mac or PC. So that's always good for functionality. You got some standoffs, some brass standoffs, your pin headers, and more cabling. Everything you're gonna need to get this set up. All right, that was easy enough to assemble, but I did want to make a couple points uh, if you're new to assembling a wing flight controller uh, that I didn't notice. First off, it does use just uh, traditional uh, Phillips head screws to attach that. So you're flying FPV, uh, you're probably familiar with uh, the hex uh, saw screws that don't strip out as easy. So you just want to tighten those snug. Those are brass uh, standoffs. So you don't want to strip those out. And then the other thing, you can see this easily in the uh, detailed assembly guide here, is uh, if you'll notate, there are pin headers. Uh, there's one connects the second board to the uh, bottom board, and then there are two that attach the top board to the middle board. Now you wanna make sure that you line the top board up correctly, 
because uh, there are two different orientations there and you want to make sure that you do not break those pins. So take your time, make sure to line those up uh, when you do assemble this. So if you can take a look here, you may be able to see there is a header right there. And then there's also one uh, towards the front here as well. And then there's this larger one here on the bottom and that should be pretty apparent there. Uh, just make sure that all your plugs are on the same side. So you have all your plugs for uh, your accessories, VTX, camera, GPS and whatnot are all on the same side there. So that's just like an older style. Uh, I believe HDLRC used to do that. Maybe GEP RC with their flight controllers, but they stopped doing that for quads. Now you have a, like a wiring harness that connects the flight controller to the ESC. So now we can dive in to some of the specs here. So this one is rated from two to six S voltage. As I stated earlier, it does support iNav and ArduPilot. And it also supports uh, VTOL wings. So a uh, vertical takeoff wings, such as the He Wing Ranger. Uh, this flight controller does support it pretty much out of the box there. You get plugs for all of your accessories, including your digital and analog VTX. You get a total of six UARTs. Now one of the UARTs, five, so five of those are free. One of the UARTs is dedicated to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip, uh, as I stated earlier. This one does support the SpeedyB app, so you can configure your flight controller with the iOS app. It's available in the App Store. Uh, there's a USB extension board that will allow you to uh, mount the USB plug. If you do want to configure it via your Mac or PC uh, in a more suitable location so you don't have to dig through, just depending on where you have your flight controller set up in your wing, it'll give you easier access. So that's a welcome addition. Also, if you watch my review on the SpeedyB F405 stack, uh, there is a LED indicator, a battery indicator, so you can check your battery voltage. That's nice to see if your pack is fully charged or what voltage you're at before you set out for the day. A lot of features are packed in here for this price. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable. I mean, we'll see you know, how reliable this is. But for 40 US dollars, I feel like it's hard to beat. There is an SD card slot for black box. Okay, so the micro SD card slot is on the middle board. See it right here. You have four LED out plugs, so you can control four sets of LEDs. That's easy, you don't have to buy your own uh, controller board for that. It does have a five volt, nine volt, and 12 volt BCs on board. So you can power various uh, accessories, up to 11 PWM outputs for motors and servos. Uh, you can switch between the uh, Wi-Fi modes and Bluetooth modes with the boot button. So I believe this flight controller's main uh, competition that I can see anyway is Diatone. Uh, they have a Mark IV F722. Uh, it's also a, wing, a mini flight controller. Now, I do have that uh, model as well. I'll be probably putting that into my other wing. I will do a review of that one shortly. Now, that one's available for $49, US so $10 more. It is running an F7 processor, so you could probably get uh, more UARTs, a faster processor, but uh, it doesn't have the wireless capability or configurability from the app like the SpeedyB does. That is its main competition. And if you're thinking of wing flight controllers, I think typically you would probably think of Maytec. Their F405 WTE, their competitive flight controller in this price range. Uh, and I think that one's coming at $69. So that's about 30 more dollars. I believe Maytec has been around for quite some time and they are definitely a reliable hardware manufacturer. And I believe they specifically engineer a lot of products for uh, wings so but uh, 30 us dollars more that is the quite the price jump is this one going to be worth the 40 dollars of your hard-earned money i'm going to test it out so uh, hopefully you guys don't have to answer that question first 
Stay tuned to the channel. I have a lot of new different content, including some ground vehicles, as well as wings. Just a whole lot of new stuff for 2023, guys. So make sure you're subscribed. You got that notification bell enabled. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.